Had raced the first of two Classic Oaks divisions for Trotting Mares this evening. And the story here is the 2003 Trotting Mare of the Year, Windy Lane Hanover. She was absolutely vicious at Dover in the opening leg of the Classic Series. Driver Ron Pierce says she's the best she's ever been. That's bad news for the rest of the field. Often trotting Dresden Dolly takes them out of there for the love of money leaving as well with the Queen Connie. Those three going at it early here. Lost Lady One towards the inside makes it four across the track as Windy Lane Hanover was uh, wrestled to the back of the pack here around the first turn. It's Chris Christopher Jr. and for the love of money taking over. Lost Lady One is trotting in second with Dresden Dolly up on the outside from third gaining ground. Queen Connie is fourth. A length and a half to a tag of pine fifth on the cones. Gypsy Balance is sixth and trotting from seventh. Windy Lane, Hanover will look to rally tonight off a quarter of 28. Not much pace so far down the back stretch, and it's Dresden Dolly and Trevor Ritchie to the front. Dresden Dolly now leads it down the back stretch. For the love of money, is trotting in second. Lost Lady One on the cones in third. It's Queen Connie fourth as they head towards the half mile. Tag upon his fifth. Now, Windy Lane, Hanover gets in gear from the back of the pack, and Pierce moves her up on the outside, and Gypsy Balance will track her move as they start to pair up now past the half mile. Dresden Dolly off a half in 56 and 2, 28 and 2 breather there. It's not much pace here. Dresden Dolly and grinding first over into it now. Windy Lane Hanover first over and challenging, applying some pressure as a battle onto the far turn here and head for three quarters for the love of money. Is now locked in the box with Gypsy Balance and Campbell working out that golden second over fourth. Lost Lady One shuffled to fifth on the inside. Tag upon appears to have trot there with Sears third over in sixth. And then it's Queen Connie at three quarters. It's Dresden Dolly with Windy Lane Hanover breathing down her neck, 125 and 3. It's a well-rated Dresden Dolly trying to fight off Windy Lane Hanover on the outside, but she is just too much. She is overpowering here. Windy Lane Hanover, a couple of taps, and she is gone with Gypsy Balance, and then Dresden Dolly, world champion Windy Lane Hanover, romps here in dominant fashion. One. A beautiful thing to watch. The top trotting rare of 2003 and the 2002 Hamble Tony and Oaks champ is aging like fine wine. Toying with this group following her world record effort at Dover in the series first leg. The daughter of Lindy Lane, three for five this season. Her only two losses coming against the boys in the Sumac lab. Well, she is certainly a razor sharp right now. The million dollar mark and earnings well within her sights. Hollywood Hayden caught up with the winning connections. We're down in the winner's circle here. The first of the classic is in tonight. Ron Pierce is here with lots of uh, little ones. Brett Biddle's here with some more. And Ron, the leading man, the leading lady here. You're a leading driver, and Wendy Lane Hanover is no doubt the best trotting filly we have around here. She sure is. She's uh, quite a mare. She's really something. Tell us about the early part of the race here. They went 28 to the quarter, and you were sitting in the back. What was going on there? Uh, no problems at all. She came off the gate two fingers and uh, relaxed real nice. When they started coming back to us, I just tipped her out, and nobody wanted to come, so we just floated up first up. and. Uh, I knew going around the last turn, she swelled up, took hold of the bit, uh, so I, I knew uh, they're going to have to do some serious trotting to beat us, and nobody had enough in their tank to catch us. You told me earlier in the week you like to race her off the pace if possible. Is that her best game? Well, she can go either way, but, you know, we'd prefer to race from off the pace. That way she'll, she'll last a little longer this year. You know? Okay, Ron Pierce, thanks very much. Brett Biddle, done a lot of good work, but I don't see a lot of starts on Windy Lane Hanover's lines here. 18 last year, now six this year. How do you keep her sharp without racing her all the time? She keeps herself sharp. I mean, uh, she's going to have a busy, busy month next month. She'll have four weeks right in a row, and, uh, you know, we give her time when she needs it and line her up when, when she can. Usually when the female trotters are this good, they're forced to go against the boys at some point. Is that going to be the case here? We'll just have to see. I mean, I want to get through this next series, uh, elimination in the final, and see where she is.